Hello everyone, Jasper Angler here from vbolton.com and today I wanted to show you how to restore a database using your cPanel and the PHP MyAdmin tool. And cPanel, according to Wikipedia, is a Unix-based web hosting control panel that provides a graphical interface and automation tools designed to simplify the process of hosting a website. And PHP MyAdmin, according to Wikipedia also, is a open source tool written in PHP intended to handle the administration of MySQL over the World Wide Web. And it can perform various tasks such as creating, modifying, or deleting databases, tables, fields, or rows, executing SQL statements, or managing users and permissions. And I will show you how to utilize these two for restoring your valuable MySQL database. And before I get started, there are sometimes file size limitations on importing a database backup this way. Like, if your database is too large, you might encounter like PHP timeout errors. So in that case, you will need to attempt to restore your database via SSH and Telnet, or ask your host to restore your database for you. And if you are on a good and reliable host, they will often be more than willing to restore the database for you free of charge. So don't hesitate to ask your host. Every customer is valuable to their business. So okay, let's get started. So go to your uh, cPanel account and click on My SQL Databases. And then create a database that you will be using to restore your backup to. So I will be using VB Backup. And then afterwards, I'll go back to my home page of my uh, cPanel account and find and click PHP My Admin. And then I'll select the database I just created, which was a VB backup. And on this page, in the right hand frame, you will see a row of links. So I'll click on the import link or tab. And then on the location of the text file, I'll choose uh, a file and I'll find the database that I'll, I want to upload in my uh, from my local host computer and then I'll click the go button and you know just wait for it to process your query and if it uh, shows an error page just uh, refresh the page and check if you see new tables on your database and Right now, uh, it seems to have up uploaded well on my end. So congratulations, you've uploaded your uh, database using PHP My Admin. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please subscribe and check back for more. We will constantly add new videos to our channel. Enjoy.